Okay, uh, I'm just gonna walk through uh, the steps that we outlined in this post just so you can see how this comes together. This, is, I have just here a, a, a brand new VM. It's an Ubuntu VM with nothing on it, just but Habitat installed. Um, so you see I have version 55. And uh, so I'm gonna now take the same steps in the tutorial so we can see how this comes together. I've also got my, uh, my Splunk dashboard here, uh, which we'll, we'll look at in a moment. So back to the VM. Um, first thing I will do is install the Hello Splunk uh, HTTP forwarder. Uh, this is the this is the service that will be listening on the VM and accepting health check inputs and sending them off to Splunk. Um, this will take a little bit to run. It's just installing all of its dependencies. Okay, now with that finished, I will install the Node.js app and I'll specify a binding here to the Splunk forwarder. We'll use that binding, as you see in the post, to, um, to communicate with it. I will then install the Nginx web server, uh, specifying a binding to, uh, to the Splunk forwarder and then also to the Node.js web server, just since that's how I would normally do it. And then um, lastly, I will specify some configuration um, that the Splunk forwarder needs. It needs my host name and it needs my token. So I will, um, I will apply those here by uh, creating, con creating a configuration file that Habitat will automatically look for. And I will specify the host name and the token that I have um, obtained from Splunk to that. And now that I've done that, all I need to do is uh, is start the supervisor because those those services are are now loaded uh, or are tagged to be loaded so supervisor is now downloading all the material that it needs and uh, you can see that hello splunk is now running my services are running as well and uh, about once every 30 seconds or so the um, the uh, health check hooks will be executed and um, and we should start seeing some events flow into Splunk. Let's see if we see anything here. Not yet. Did I set that? Oh, you know what I did? I actually set the host name wrong. I made a mistake. I'm going to stop this. And in this section where I set the, um, the host name, I just realized that I set the host name using the, uh, the host name that I obtained from Splunk, which is actually incorrect. They, they actually want you to prefix it with input dash. OK, now if I start to run them. There we go. Okay, so this is my. These are my both of my services. The uh, uh, this one is the uh, which package is this one? Hello Node, and this then should be the um, the Nginx web service. I, th the, I believe yeah, the Nginx service. And there we go. So these these should start to um, to appear on a thirty second interval, and you can monitor the health of your application and live a happy life. Thanks for watching.